Well, even superheroes have to uh, look after themselves. Um, so, some of you, in brackets, my flatmates might find this quite amusing. So, um, this is for you, Jeanette and Co. I, I know you'll like this. Um, so this is what I get up to when I say, sorry, I can't come to dinner for another 15, 20 minutes. I'm just going to do my stretches. Um, <laughs> it's quite complicated, but it's very important because otherwise my legs just seize up. If I'm doing 100 miles plus a day, it, they, that takes its toll. And um, these exercises really, really help. They're from, uh, um, I learned them from a very good physio called Claire and her partner, Helen Payne. If you're going to be a physiotherapist, no better name than Helen Payne. Um, but it's really good. It does really help. So um, wherever I go on cycling trips, I always take this bit of elastic, massive bit of elastic with me. And um, sort of tie myself up in knots for a bit. <laughs> and then fasten myself in, nice and tight, hopefully. And then find a, find a wall. Stick my back up against it, and then uh, get my feet to uh, sort of shoulder width, and uh, and then turn my toes in, part one, and then lift my heels off the floor. Um, and before I started doing these stretches, I couldn't get my heel off the floor at all, so that meant my calves were really short and tight, and and it hurts a bit. So that's good news. And then I uh, turn my knees. My kneecaps in, part three, and then I have to rotate my feet but hold my knees in the same position, um, if that's at all possible, and that's, that can hurt a bit. <laughs> uh, and then I have to pull my toes to me, uh, which can hurt even more, <laughs> which can hurt even more, and then hold it for five seconds. So that's stretching out. Uh, Mostly my calves, um, but all my all my legs, and then relax, and then do the same again. Feet together, heels off the ground, knees in, toes out, but holding the knees together, and then pulling up my toes. Hold for five, and I have to do ten of those. Uh, it's quite hard work, as you can, <laughs> and then ten of those uh, three times. And if I do that once a day, my legs are feeling really good. If I do that twice a day, maybe morning and evening, my legs are feeling really, really good. Um, so that's what keeps me, uh, keeps me going. If I didn't do that, I really would uh, uh, be falling to pieces. So a lot of this trip is about maintenance and eating right. Um, I'm eating about six times a day. And again, if I don't eat the right things, sort of a mixture of salts and fats and proteins and carbs... Again, I don't think I'd, I'd be able to do it, so um, I'm kind of just making it up as I go along, but um, what I seem to be doing seems to be working, but um, it's all, all eating the right stuff and doing all these stretches, it's, uh, it's a very important part of what of keeping me going. I think the lights off telling me that's time for the end of the video.